Max Verstappen of Red Bull Racing set a new record with his 18th victory of the 2023 Formula One season at the Las Vegas Grand Prix. Two more drivers joined the three-time world champion on the podium, Ferrari's Charles Leclerc, who had one of his greatest races of the year, and Red Bull's Sergio Perez, who had been battling Lewis Hamilton for second position in the Drivers' Championship, but had eventually beaten him. In the opening lap of the Las Vegas Grand Prix, Verstappen took the inside lane in his RB19 to follow pole zitter Leclerc into the slow first turn. Both drivers waited as long as they could before applying the brakes, and Verstappen carried Leclerc over the racing line. The start was good, then we both braked quite late to defend the position, but I was on the inside on the dirt, I guess, Verstappen said after the race. As soon as you're a bit offline here, it's just super low grip. I braked, and there was no grip. I didn't mean to push Charles off the track, but I couldn't slow down. I just kept sliding on four wheels wide. That's why we had to go wide. At the time, you're also full of adrenaline, and I was not happy with the decision, but looking back at it, it was probably right call. And after that, with that five second penalty, it was definitely a bit harder to come back to the front. Ferrari driver Charles Leclerc thinks that giving back the position Max Verstappen lost when he pushed him off the track in Las Vegas would have been a better punishment than the time penalty he received. The Dutchman was advised by Red Bull that he didn't need to give the spot back to Leclerc since the Monegasque driver had a better argument with Ferrari. The stewards agreed with his assessment and penalised Verstappen five seconds for causing another driver to leave the track. But while Leclerc, who has already spoken with his competitor about the incident, admits a penalty was merited, he feels the stewards should have ordered Verstappen to give the spot back to him as running behind causes more tyre wear than experienced in clean air. Max already came to me and explained the situation, he said. Obviously it was on over the limit. I think the fives penalty is deserved. It was tight. I still tried to push off the track, but it was so low grip. It's the way it is. He has been penalised, he paid the penalty, and I think that was the right penalty to give. I just think that in those kinds of situations, it would be better for the FIA to ask to give the place back, because I think there is quite an advantage to take of care of the tyres when you have free air, but that was only some of the chaos that unleashed in the turn one of the race. After Fernando Alonso lost control and was hit by Valtteri Bottas, Carlos Sainz and Lewis Hamilton collided, and Sergio Perez got into the fray and had to get a new front wing. At the same time, Alonso pulled over unexpectedly with the VSC in tow for the marshals to pick up some trash. This resulted with Perez going to the pits for a new nose and coming in very last, but with the VSC keeping the pack together, he only fell behind by a few seconds. He was able to get onto the hard tyre the Red Bull preferred, thanks to the pit stop. When the second safety car came out, he was able to make another cheap pit stop and get a second set of hard tyres, giving him the best of both worlds in terms of track position and fresh rubber. The second safety car was caused by a major collision, caused by Lando Norris's McLaren veering to the side entering turn 12. The safety car was dispatched, but the driver is okay, thank goodness. Sainz was the only competitor to make a pit stop, and his decision to switch to the harder Pirelli tyres put him in last place. Alonso was all over the back of Sainz's Ferrari, and Oscar Piastri had caught Yuki Tsunoda asleep to move into the final points-paying position after a superb start on Turn 7, Verstappen made a great getaway on Turn 7 and almost instantly put two seconds between himself and Leclerc. Verstappen was penalised five seconds for pushing Leclerc off the track in Turn 1 on lap 9. The world champion simply said, that's fine, send them my regards. In spite of scepticism about the track's ability to produce competitive racing, Alonso passed Sainz, Esteban Ocon passed Kevin Magnussen, Piastri and Magnussen fought to a draw, and Tsunoda dropped another spot, this time to Zhou Guan Yu. By passing Nico Hülkenberg, Hamilton moved into 10th place, Science overtook Alonso, and Pierre Gasly pursued and passed Russell. Soon after each other, Ocon, Piastri and Hamilton passed Logan Sargent. Competing in a race with four other drivers, Ferrari warned Science to slow down and let his car cool down before they retired it. He quickly maneuvered around Daniel Ricciardo in order to gain a few precious meters of space and it occurred in under 10 laps. Leclerc used DRS to inch his Ferrari closer and closer to the rear wing of Verstappen's Red Bull, bringing the gap between the two drivers down to less than a second. On lap 16, Leclerc passed Verstappen and the Dutchman pitted right afterward, 
leaving him stalled for 7.7 .7 seconds due to his penalty. And it triggered a wild dash for the pits, with Russell and Piastri coming in first. Then Hamilton, who had collided with Piastri and lost places on his way in, reporting a puncture. After his pit stop, Hamilton was 19th and dead last. As the final round of leader pit stops concluded with Leclerc coming in on lap 22, Perez, who had already pitted after his lap one collision, was leading Stroll, Leclerc, Sainz, Russell, Alonso, Verstappen and Gasly. The top 10 was rounded out by Piastri and Alex Albon. Another major incident happened in the lap 12 of the race when Verstappen was overtaking Russell. Verstappen was lining up a pass on Russell, but Russell's Mercedes swung wildly to the left and slammed into the side of the Dutchman's car. Both were extremely fortunate to walk away from the collision with only minor injuries, as carbon fibre flew in every direction. The collision resulted in a five-second time penalty for Russell and the deployment of the safety car, which brought the race to a halt so that both drivers could pit for new tyres. Russell finished the race in fourth, but was demoted to eighth owing to the time penalty, while Verstappen went on to win after a dramatic battle with Sergio Perez and Charles Leclerc. Russell has a reputation as one of the more stubborn drivers in refusing to accept his own part in events, but in this case, the Mercedes man took full responsibility for his error. Yeah, it's just another massively missed opportunity this weekend. The incident with Max was totally my fault. I didn't see him, he was totally in my blind spot going around turn 11. I wasn't really expecting the overtake there because we've got the big long straight with the DRS afterward. We were on course for an easy podium then, it was pretty straightforward. So we recovered to P4. But then the five second penalty knocks us down to P8. Just this season is sort of one thing after another. But then ultimately the pace wasn't quite. It was strong, but not as strong as the Red Bull and the Ferraris. The crash between Russell and Verstappen turned out to be a stroke of luck for Verstappen. As the safety car came out to remove the debris, he swapped some front wing end plate damage for a significantly more potent combination of track position and tyres, putting the odds in his favour so he can go for the victory. On the other side, during that safety car interval, it was difficult for Leclerc and the Ferrari pit wall, Verstappen's competitor during the race, to know what the right call would be. With the leaders on fresh rubber, Leclerc would have been in third position after making the pit stop. His tyres were only five laps old. If he stayed out for the rest of the race, he would unquestionably win. So he stayed outside. Leclerc's driving had been strong, and it would remain that way for the rest of the race. After being passed by Perez using DRS on lap 32, he pulled off a brilliant counterpass a few laps later, capitalising on Perez's attempt to give Leclerc DRS in order to keep Verstappen behind, Carlos Sainz style. Due to Verstappen's wider wing, Perez was powerless to prevent him from passing. With 12 laps to go, Verstappen with DRS took the lead from Leclerc, despite the latter's use of a super low Monza style wing. Perez regained the lead after Leclerc locked up his brakes into turn 14, but Charles recovered with a well-executed full battery attack in the last lap. It revealed that the race's outcome was dictated not only by the pit stop times, but also by the random timing of the safety cars, giving us a race of absolute anarchy. So what do you think about the race? Was this one of the best races of the year? Please let us know in the comments down below.